ideally your vocals should be properly recorded and you shouldn't get that much hiss on them anyway. <laughs> What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and what's gonna be a pretty interesting uh, episode that involves only three plugins but the effect that they have on a vocal recording is pretty massive. Um, what I want to do today is um, follow up on something that I've been trying out uh, over the past few months which is the, um, the various that um, Akon Digital make. And in this case, uh, I want to try out the um, noise reduction uh, plugin uh, along with a couple of other plugins just to help it out uh, in certain areas. But the scenario that we have here is just a vocal that's been poorly recorded and has a lot of hiss. Uh, so let's have a listen to the vocal. I recorded this one. I uh, had the hiss added uh, in post and then it sounded like this. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. And it's pretty noticeable. It sounds pretty bad. But then with some processing magic, it sounds like this. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Cause much better. So let's see what I have going on. So the most important thing here is the Akon Digital Denoise 2. Um, and what I did with this one was uh, mess around with a few of the settings. Uh, I have it on adaptive. Uh, it literally means it adapts to whatever the sound source uh, is, where the noise source is. Uh, then the reduction time, I just kept it on minimal. Um, the maximum attenuation, literally the maximum it can go, which is minus 48. Uh, a bit of um, a soft knee, you don't want it to cut in too much just because um, all of a sudden just because it's it's gonna uh, get you that interesting um, wobbly sound that you sometimes hear in the top end of uh, 96 kilobytes uh, mp3s and stuff like that so um, I did that just to uh, take some of that stuff out and then the reduction, I have it at minus five. You don't want to go too much just because it tends to emphasize some of those um, artifacts a bit too much. And I also have the emphasis curve engaged. And this is really important because instead of it thinking that it has noise in the um, in the uh, lower end, in the mid range, you just tell it, no, I don't want you to focus on that at all. Just ignore it and focus on the top end, which is kind of where the hiss is anyway, kind of above 5K-ish. So let's have a listen to what this does, a before and after. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Already, it's much better, but now, um, a byproduct of that is that you kind of lose a bit of the top end, where is, where, uh, which is where the uh, noise is happening. So I added uh, Gulf Foss, I think it's, they pronounce it from Sound Theory. This is a fantastic plugin. And I use this just to boost uh, that top end and literally recover it, as you can see here. But I'm also limiting this, uh, again, just to the top end. Everything post uh, around four, uh, four or five K and just telling it to ignore everything that's below, just so I only get back that thing that's missing uh, after the, the noising. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby. It brings it back to the forefront. And at the same time, since you're boosting a lot of top end, there's also a bit of DSing that needs to happen. And not necessarily for the S's, but for that 4K region that sounds always a bit nasally and really harsh. So let's have a listen to what um, Pro DS is doing. Cause if you like So that's the region um, that is a bit annoying and uh, this is what it's actually attenuating. Uh, 
especially those ch sounds, which tend to be a bit lower than the normal S's. And now you get this. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. So let's have a listen to before and after with the whole thing. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Much better. And actually what I could also do is add a gate, uh, just so you don't hear the hiss between the words. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Cause if you like the way you look that much, oh baby, you should go and love yourself. To me, that's much better, much cleaner, and I could actually use that in the mix without worrying about what's gonna happen with that uh, hiss when I start adding top end to, uh, to the vocals. So uh, you only need like three, four plugins to do something like that. Ideally, your vocals should be properly recorded and you shouldn't get that much hiss on them anyway. But if you do, uh, this kind of combination of plugins that starts with the, uh, the noise from Akon Digital is um, a lifesaver and it has helped me in a couple of uh, sticky situations recently so I do uh, recommend you give this a go and try it out to see if it fixes the issue in your mix. So thanks again for watching and see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching the video until the end. Uh, I really do hope you got something out of it. And if you did enjoy it, if you did get any value out of it, please let me know in the comments below and consider subscribing to the channel, share the video, like it, all that jazz, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks.